In part two of this video, we're going to take a look at the actual process of the endospore stain. And you, as you can see from this little uh, cartoon, we're going to be applying this malachite green stain that is our primary staining solution. And malachite green actually comes from malachite rocks um, that you might have seen in a rock or gem store. And it's just ground up and it has this greenish color to it from the copper that's in there. And we'll take this solution and apply some heat and that will help to drive the malachite green stain into the spore coating that is surrounding the spore there. And then we can use water to decolorize the cell bodies that were stained with the green color there that comes out really easily. And then at the end, because the cell bodies are colorless as a result of the decolorizing, we will use another basic dye solution, saffron, in here to counter stain the cell bodies so that the bodies of the cells are visible um, and we can also determine whether or not the spores are inside or outside of the cells. So now that uh, the smears have dried up, I'm going to just pass them through the flame. One, two, three, to do that heat fixing to hold them on there. And then we're going to take them and put them over um, this boiling water bath to again give it a little bit of heat here. And we will use a very high tech piece of equipment known as a cut up paper towel and place it right on top and this is just going to be there to help keep the um, stain from traveling too far off the slide there and it's also going to hold it down on the surface like that and so we'll let it sit here for a good five to ten minutes and that will give a chance for the stain to actually penetrate into the spore coating for our spores. So you can see that our endospore stain is starting to dry out a little bit on top. So we apply a little bit more of that dye and that paper towel again helps to keep it moist right there. And so we just want to keep adding that over this time period. And it's been about um, a little over five minutes at this point. So we want to make sure that we keep, keep, um, keep administering that dye to um, allow those cells to stain. At this point, it's probably enough to have two hits on there. So we're going to take this endospore stain slide and I'm going to move it over to my sink right here. And it's still pretty hot, but what I will do is get some water to moisten this a little bit. But we want to make sure that we get that dye off of there. And so you can see I'm wearing some gloves because this technique is notorious for getting green dye everywhere. So that wasn't enough, so now I am going to the stream of water here and hoping that I don't knock that off. And now I am decolorizing this, and we can just use water as our decolorizer, which is really convenient for doing this process here. And if we take a look at our slide, we don't really see much of anything. Again, lack of contrast in the background. But we can come in now and do our counter staining. We've decolorized the cell bodies and spores will be retaining the dye if it got into the spore coating. So we're just going to counter stain the cell bodies that were decolorized with the water using our Graham Safranin. Now that the counter stain has had a chance to work, we just need to rinse these guys off. Try and hold it down so you don't make a mess like I'm doing here. And I always like to rinse off um, the top and the bottom of the slide to make sure I get everything that is there. And if you take a look, you can see a little bit of diffuse green material. Some of that does stick on the slide um, on the bottom where the screen was, but um, you can also see that my label there with the Sharpie stayed on. So I know where my stuff is, and we'll be able to take a look at it on the microscope now once it has a chance to dry.